This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework. This is Physics Homework 7, questions 8 and 9. Question 8 says, you drop a stone from a position of rest. So here's my stone, and I'm just dropping it. From a position of rest, that tells me that my initial velocity is 0 in the y world. Um, how far will it fall vertically in the first 8 seconds? How far? So I'm looking for my uh, y distance. The acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So my acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, in the first 8 seconds, so that's my time, is 8 seconds. So I've got an initial velocity, an acceleration, a time, and I'm looking for a displacement. It says how far, so that's going to wind up being a positive number. So I want the magnitude of this answer. So it turns out that my displacement is my initial velocity times time plus one half of my acceleration times time squared. Well, my initial velocity is zero, so this goes away. So my displacement is going to be one half of negative 9.8 times 8 squared, my time squared. And that will give me some number. It's going to give me a negative number here, but I'm going to enter it in as positive because it's just saying how far, so, so enter as positive. So that's question 8. Now question 9 says, if you instead toss it horizontally at 5.1 meters per second, how far will it fall vertically in the first 8 seconds? So now what I've got is a horizontal projectile problem, where this thing has an initial horizontal velocity of 5.1 meters per second. Well, where does that velocity go? Is that vertical velocity or horizontal velocity? So now in this problem, what do I have in the x world? And what do I have in the y world? Well, x world, I know that my acceleration is 0. y world, my acceleration is going to be gravity, is going to be negative 9.8. I know that my time is going to be 8 seconds, and my time here is going to be 8 seconds. What else do I know in the x world? I don't know the distance. Um, I do know, what, where's this 5.1 meters per second? If this is horizontally, then this velocity is all x velocity. So my velocity is going to be 5.1 meters per second. What's my y world velocity going to be? Well, if this is horizontally thrown, then that 5.1 meters per second is all horizontal. So my initial velocity in the y world is 0 meters per second. And now, um, what else do I know? I know my time, my acceleration, and I'm looking for how far will it fall vertically. So I'm looking for my height here that it will fall in the y world. So this is what I'm looking for. Now, if I'm going to leave it to you to find where I'm going to find a, an equation that matches acceleration, time, initial velocity, and displacement, and uh, figure out how to get that answer and see what that is. So that's up to you.